It is very early on this Sunday, August 26th, but this is a special 28storms.com update on Tropical Storm Isaac, which as you can see on the satellite imagery is now situated just north of the Cuban coastline. And based on the enhanced infrared, it does appear that convection is trying to redevelop near that center of circulation, and the hurricane hunters will be investigating over the next few hours, and we may see those sustained winds begin to increase. The timetable for a South Florida landfall near the Florida Keys is still expected sometime later this afternoon or later on in the evening. As of right now, it looks as though a tropical storm or minimal Category 1 hurricane impact is likely. We will continue to cover the latest South Florida landfall news throughout our Facebook and Twitter clients, and the South Florida media is doing a good job with the coverage down there. So more importantly, we're going to focus on the potential for a major hurricane landfall along the central Gulf Coast. And as of right now, so far this morning, there is growing evidence that the track from the National Hurricane Center may have to be shifted a bit more toward the west. This is a look at the latest United States water vapor imagery, and we can see that the initial trough is still situated across the east coast of the United States, but this trough is continuing to weaken, and the ridging over Florida is going to continue to move more toward the west. In addition, there's growing evidence that the troughing out across the Great Lakes may not be fully strong enough or dive enough down toward the south to fully capture Isaac, therefore a track straight into the Florida Panhandle near Panama City and Apalachicola is looking a bit less likely so far this morning, although that track cannot entirely be ruled out, but we are starting to see a consensus within the models more so toward the west between Destin, Florida and New Orleans, Louisiana. This is the latest six-day forecast from the GFS model, and we are looking at the 500 millibar steering layer. You can see in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, we have Tropical Storm Isaac moving right along the Cuban coastline. And as we continue to advance through the forecast, it's expected to be just to the south of Miami near the Florida Keys later on this afternoon and evening, and quickly thereafter enter the southeast gulf no later than early Monday morning and you can see that the trough out across southern Canada and the Great Lakes is moving more toward the south but not quite as much as we saw in previous runs of the GFS and more importantly the ridging out across the Rockies is coming in and it's moving toward the east and now the latest GFS run is showing the storm being trapped by the ridge thus showing more of a track towards southeast Louisiana it is currently showing a landfall near the mouth of the Mississippi River early Tuesday morning with a more continuous track toward the west-northwest as it does become fully captured by that ridge situated over Kansas and Nebraska. Furthermore, the European run, which was over toward the east near Panama City and Apalachicola on Saturday afternoon, is also shifting back toward the west once again. As we go into 24 and 48 hours, it's also showing more in the way of intensification while over the southeast gulf. So overall, there is a growing consensus that Isaac may go ahead and try to become a major hurricane before making landfall. By 72 hours, the European is still showing a bit of a break between the two ridges here with the troughing out across the mid-Atlantic and northeast. But by this time, the storm has already moved far enough to the west that by the time it does turn north, it is making landfall near Dauphin Island and Orange Beach, Alabama. By 96 hours, or day four, the European is still showing that the steering currents would be relatively weak in this case as the trough has lifted out therefore not fully picking up the system and the ridge is still too far toward the north to really allow the storm to advance to the west so therefore the model was showing little to no motion throughout the 24 hour period following the landfall and then finally as we go into day five or late Thursday night the storm is still pushing toward the north into central Alabama to the south of Birmingham even some of the lesser models are now coming into better agreement with a landfall somewhere out across the central Gulf Coast. For example, this is the latest run from the Zero Z CMC, and it too is also implying a landfall out across southeast Louisiana, not too far away from the coastal portions of Mississippi. And finally, as we take a latest look at the tropical model suite, we can see that the H wharf has also shifted near the mouth of the Mississippi River across southeast Louisiana, and several of the other tropical model suite members have shifted into the New Orleans area. However, there is still a good enough spread between southeast Louisiana through Destin and Panama City so that everyone between these two locations should be preparing right now for Tropical Storm Isaac as it is likely to go on and become a Category 2 or potentially even major Category 3 hurricane. And we also think that the 4 a.m. and 10 a.m. track from the Hurricane Center is going to have to shift a little bit more toward the west, probably with it being located somewhere out across the Mississippi and Alabama coastline. 
it is unlikely that they would shift all the way to southeast Louisiana with just one forecast package, and they will likely wait for the next significant round of model updates, that being in the early afternoon hours. And we could still see a shift back toward the east, but we are getting closer to the landfall period, so we should start to see the models begin to narrow down the landfall location. And we are going to provide another video update sometime after the early afternoon models are up and available on the internet. In the meantime, if anything significant happens before then, you can check out 28storms.com as we may have another blog post, or if not, we're going to still have frequent updates on our Facebook and Twitter. So thank you for tuning in.